Welcome everyone. Today's tutorials is dedicated to Sentinel-2, an integral component of the Copernicus mission, which is tasked with the continuous acquisition of Earth imagery. The Sentinel-2 utilizes two satellites to capture images of terrestrial and coastal regions. Typically, those satellites can capture up to five images per day. The primary objective of those satellites is to monitor environmental transformation such as flooding, thereby contributing to the refinement of risk management approaches. Each satellite is equipped with 13 cameras capable of detecting light across various wavelengths or bands. This feature is crucial for accurately monitoring vegetation growth, water bodies, water bodies changes, urban changes, and crop development. Upon capturing an image, Sentinel-2 effectively collects 13 distinct images across different bands, with each band offering a resolution that spans from 10 to 60 meters per pixel. These bands are subsequently combined using specialized software and algorithms, allowing for extraction of pertinent information. The most straightforward method to work with these images is by employing quantum GIS. Other systems are available, but much more complex and difficult to learn. Quantum GIS has a plugin called Sentinel Hub plugin. To begin, you must register to the Sentinel Hub web page, providing basic personal information such name and email and password. Following the registration, you will receive an activation email and the job is done. The service is free for the initial 30 days. If you do not want to pay for the service, it's possible to re-register after expiration of the 30 days using a different email address. The paid service is available, but it's rather expensive. So I use it frequently and I re-register every time using a new email addresses to access the services. And up to the moment, I've never had any problem. We are now in our dashboard of Sentinel Hub. We can go into the configuration utility page where you will find already a collection of the default templates. If you open this uh, collection, you can see already a number of combination of bands. Those are the most common bands. For us, important in this case is the combination of natural colors. Here you can see the true color combination. This image might be interesting because it will show the real extent of your sight at a given moment. As well, this one that shows the area which are urban in relation to the rural areas, but uh, we want more combination. We want combination that shows us how to identify flood prone areas based on images taken in the past. But how and where can I find new combination? So you browse that web page which is collecting all possible and unknown combination. Below the video, I will uh, write the link of the page. This page is frequently updated. You click on Sentinel-2 and here you have all possible combination. The selection depends on what you look for. You have the symbol combination that you have already in the default configuration you will find several type of real color combination. You can find combination for wildfire or a lot of combination related to crop and vegetation that help you to identify healthy or uh, non-healthy vegetation. You have even a combination for oil spill detection, combination about cloud coverage, and there you see disaster management combination and combination related to water. 
we have a simple water body which might be interesting for us we have water in wetlands as well it looks very interesting and others let's check those two combination i click on the combination of wetland index first here it explain what it shows and how it was built here you will see an example of given images and this image shows area covered by water therefore it might be a river a lake or float now how to insert this combination in our sentinel hub plugin in quantum gis this is rather simple you can download the code or you can copy that code let's copy the code click on this icon go back on configuration utility and let's create a new configuration i will call this new configuration water bodies but this is up to you okay now click on create configuration new layer we call the new layer water in wetland piw we click on editing icon and we paste the script here on custom script editor you do not need to understand the script this script might be very complicated but of course if if you want you can okay so you have the first combination and you have to save you see now we have a new layer called water in wetland the next one which can be as well interesting for us is simple water body same process you click on the simple water body link here again you can read about the process how the bands are combined and you can look at the expected result you have to keep in mind that not always all the script works properly sometimes they don't work but what to do same process you copy the code you go back and you create a new layer type simple water body svb same process click the editing pencil and insert the script this time the script seems to be a little bit more complex but uh, we do not care so remember to save let's go back let's see if we can add some other combination let's try the water body mapping i've never seen that before same process you can read how they combine the bands you can see the result so copy the script and click on new layer and we call it this time water body mapping bbm click on that insert the script and save just let's add a new layer called the true color combination same principle copy the script on true color and paste it this is the result okay i think for the time being it should be enough we go back on the dashboard we can see that we have created four layers with four different bands combination at this point we can open quantum gis first you need to install the plugin as usually you go to plugin manage and install plugin you look for the sentinel hub plugin it's here and you install the plugin i don't do it because i have it already once you have your plugin installed you will see the sentinel icon appearing on the taskbar click on the icon and you will receive this mask for the login the system requires the client id and the client secret you can find those two information in the user setting menu on the sentinel hub page here we have all the information and here you have to create an out client you create it you can write qjs for example the name doesn't really matter and click on create now you have the client id and the client secret I recommend to copy and paste the client ID and the client secret somewhere because the system might not save this value. 
and in case it's not saved you have to redo this process i have a text file i paste my client id and my client secret in my text file now you can go into your quantum gis and here you can paste the client id and the client secret fine if everything is nice if you work properly you can log in and you will see the message below logged in and now i open a new site called edmilat in syria i choose this site because it has an interesting history